Software instruments use your computer's resources to generate sound for MIDI regions. Logic Pro includes a ton of great sounding and easy to use software instruments. Let's try creating a track. I want to record some drums in a few chapters, so let's go about getting something set up. Software instruments use a special kind of channel strip that's automatically added to the mixer when you create a software instrument track. Hit the new track button. Enter the number of tracks you want to create in the number field. Just leave it set to one. Set the type of track to software instrument. Choose a destination for the track from the output menu. This will usually be outputs one and two. You can then check open library to open the library tab in the media browser where you can search for your favorite sounds. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let's leave this unchecked for now. Click create to add the new software instrument tracks to your project. Let's delete this other audio track by selecting it and hitting delete. Choose create track name from the track menu and rename the track drums. Once you've created a software instrument track, you'll need to insert an instrument in its channel strip or choose a preset sound from the library. Let's start by inserting an instrument. Make sure the drums track is selected and make sure you can see its channel strip in the inspector. Click on the input slot in the channel strip to open a menu of instruments that are available on your computer. The first group of instruments in the menu are included with Logic Pro. Next, you'll find a submenu of instruments from GarageBand. Finally, you'll find submenus for audio units generators, instruments, and effects. If you've installed any audio units instruments, they'll appear in these menus. Choose the instrument you want to use from the menu. Choose any instrument you like for now. The Ultra Beat is great for drums, so I'm going to go with that. There it is. We can use these controls to create our own sound or load a preset from the menu at the top of the window. Click the X in the top left corner of the instrument's interface to close it. We can change this instrument if we want to by clicking and holding the instrument slot and choosing a different one from the menu. If you want to remove the instrument from the channel strip, choose No Plugin. Remember that you won't be able to hear the track until you choose a new instrument. Next, let's load a preset sound from the library. If the library isn't already open, click the media icon in the toolbar and select the library tab. Make sure the drums track is selected. Notice that the library only displays presets that will work with the type of track that's selected. If you switch to an audio track, the library will display a different group of presets. Let's look for something for drums. Select drums and percussion. I want to use the ultra beat, so I'm going to look in the ultra beat drum kits. Okay, I think I'll try minimal electro kit. Once we select something, the instrument and effects that make up the preset are inserted on the channel strip. Hit some keys on your MIDI keyboard. If you don't like the sounds, click a different preset or click the revert button to go back to the previous setting. You can also clear the channel strip by opening the setting menu at the top of the channel strip and choosing Reset Channel Strip. Keep in mind that you won't be able to hear the track until you choose a new instrument. Now that you've learned how to create a software instrument, we're ready to start recording.